Greetings and howdy howdy. I am at Buckrow Beach in Hampton, Virginia, standing on the seawall. I doubt you can see the water, but you might be able to hear it. Those lights way out there, I don't think you can even see them, are the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. But I did want to get you a shot of that pretty moon. And you can see the beach down here. I came up these steps. And there's a little kitty park over there and some Christmas lights down the way. I'll do a little walk down the beach. I uh, had a wonderful dinner with my friend and her husband, which I guess they're both my friends, but I just known her a lot longer. This, I believe, is what they call the observational pier. And then what she, the, her company used to own was the fishing pier until a hurricane knocked it out. And then uh, they didn't have enough insurance. This is now actually a city park. You can see there's some, well, maybe you can't see them. This isn't doing too good in the dark. Let's see here. Oh, there's some benches there. You know, you can see it's a long what we call a boardwalk, even though it's cobblestones, both directions. It's a comfortable about 60 degrees out here right now. I don't see any boats moving out there. Sometimes This is the Chesapeake Bay, if I didn't tell you that, in Hampton, Virginia, called Buckrow Beach. Apparently, my parents, on their first date, they rode the train down here. There used to be a big amusement park in this field out here. Dad picked mom up, carried her out into the bay, and dropped her. <laughs> and they've been married and happy ever since. So I guess this is the start of my parents' relationship down here. And then when I was a police officer in Farmville, my neighbor's daughter ran a, a resort kind of trailer park and cottages at the end of that fishing pier, which like I say, this is the observational pier that we're coming up to. I don't think you can see it. There's no lights out on the end. But so anyway, I started coming down here to visit her. Her birthday is two weeks before mine and she's one year older. So we would always go out for all you could eat crab legs. Of course, that's a helicopter. There's Langley Air Force Base just, uh, just up the street here, I think. And so the uh, Air Force and uh, Navy have a lot of planes around here. Newport New Shipbuilding is not far from here. So this will be my Vlogmas 22, 2022 number five. I don't... Apparently they're having to close the beach down at about 10 o'clock at night now. There's some of the Christmas lights. Oh, the screen keeps blanking out, but there you go. It's uh, just a few little... Oh, it's the old lighthouse, a little symbol, uh, what do you call it, just a, not a real lighthouse, but just like a little statue. Let's see here, adopt a spot. You can't see much tonight. I'll come down tomorrow and make one in the daylight. Okay, there's the rebuilt fishing pier that the city actually built, those lights that go out. You can see the sand. Like I say, I'll get a better shot tomorrow. I don't, I guess I'll go in and post this tonight and then we'll, if it doesn't rain and if it's not freezing when I when the sun comes up tomorrow I believe I'm gonna be staying two nights down here it's very likely I am not going to be doing the house sit in Virginia Beach the uh, ship that the homeowner was going to be sailing on has been delayed and isn't going to leave until at least Monday but may not leave at all so I left it with her that when she knows what's going to happen, please let me know. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to be looking for other houses to sit. I'm getting a little irritated with these people canceling and rearranging. She did say I was welcome to come stay there anyway, but that she would still be there. And a single lady and a single man that don't know each other sharing a house is not my idea of a fun evening. So I just told my friend I'd come stay with her still, even though I had planned to come spend the night here and then go on to Virginia Beach tomorrow because the lady's ship was supposed to sail tomorrow night. I don't know what the delay was, if it was the uh, infrastructure, uh, what they do, the uh, cyber attack on the power plant in North Carolina or 
if the Navy got cyber attacked or what. But anyway, they're not sailing and she doesn't know when they will and I can't uh, let it delay me getting to the sit in North Carolina. So worst case scenario on Friday, I'll go back up to mom and dad's and spend a little more time there. Those lights over there are a bathhouse, I believe. Like I say, I'll show it all to you again tomorrow. I got somebody walking down the boardwalk here, but I think it's pretty safe. And this is the playground. I'll show it again tomorrow. But anyway, you know, this is about three and a half hours from my parents, so not a horribly long drive uh, just to come visit a friend since I won't be working down here. And when I say working, don't think I'm getting paid. It's a exchange of services. I get the place to stay. They get a house sitter. But that seems to be creating problems. So I will be coming up with a plan so that this doesn't happen a whole lot more. I keep telling people I'm booked till April, but if every third one cancels or rearranges on me, that creates issues that I didn't want to have to deal with. So anyway, that's it for today. Okay, here comes a fighter jet, I think. Of course, I can't see it at night. It may just be a car or a truck. But the, uh, the husband, who's a veteran, said that the flyboys were up tonight, but I just haven't heard him. There's one more shot of the moon and a street light. So y'all have a great night. I'll talk to you later. God bless. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you made it this far. I really need to start saying that earlier. It is beautiful looking out over the, the bay and the light little waves. Here, maybe you can see the buck row. I don't think so. This is not going to be a real good video. We'll see what it looks like when I get it on the bigger screen. Y'all have a great night. Love you. God bless. Bye-bye.